another orbit around the sun. And uh, therefore I wish you guys, and especially my Patreons of course, Techie, Steve and Kofa, all the best and a peaceful new year. I was working on a new video already, um, but I run out of parts, so I have to wait until I get those. And as we all know, Chinesium takes a while due to, due to the pandemic, of course, to arrive these days. But luckily you guys keep feeding me um, your questions and suggestions. One of them is to try mustard to engrave or to mark stainless steel with a K40 laser. Um, I had this idea sent in multiple times to, by today. Uh, Bob S, for example, commented uh, the other day um, to try mustard on stainless steel, slow hot raster. It actually marks the stainless. I uh, made the huge expense and get me three different sorts of mustard and um, a piece of uh, stainless steel rod um, that I cleaned with some acetone and uh, subdivided it into uh, three sections using a sharpie. And also I um, marked the names of the mustards um, on top here so we see which one is which. However, um, in the videos I saw online, they used a diode laser for this procedure. So will it also work with a low power CO2 laser? We will find out. Um, I got me three sorts of mustards. Why three sorts? Because mustard pretty much variates depending where you are in the world. I got me a bottle of this American uh, mustard, what is quite acidic compared to French Dijon mustard, for example. I speculate that it has to do with the acids uh, of the vinegar inside of um, the mustard that does the job. So most of my hopes lies into this uh, American yellow mustard because it's the more acidic one. Um, this is a German sweet mustard that usually goes with white sausages, Weisswurst, pretty awesome stuff. And um, to find out, of course, if it is the vinegar that does the trick, um, I need a more um, sweet mustard with less vinegar to see if that makes a difference. Um, it is more of a Bavarian thing, by the way. Um, German mustards um, usually tend to be pretty acidic as well. Um, and uh, as I said, to find out um, if it is the vinegar that does the trick, I want um, to try um, a mustard that, of course, has less vinegar in it. If it is something else that helps to mark metal with mustard, um, we will find out today. As you saw in um, another video uh, on my channel, I already tried different products, such as toothpaste, uh, what also was a suggestion by a subscriber, and it came out that it didn't work, it was pretty much a fail, at least for me. Now let's go ahead and find out if we can, or if we have more luck today, by using mustard. So I got me a brush and I will lay on a thin layer of each mustard to the steel rod. Of course it would be easier having uh, some flat steel to put in the laser to engrave. Um, yes, but all the stores are closed for now because of the, the lockdown. So I have to work with what I've got. And um, by the way, I made a video where um, I uh, showed you how I engrave um, stuff onto round things without using a, um, a third axis or a rotary uh, accessory. Now I will put it underneath some paper because I know already that it will be very messy. Um, I shook um, all these mustards up a bit to get rid of the separation, of course because we all know that mustard tends to separate. And I will simply brush this on here. I could not find a specific um, thickness or a specific way to put this on here. So I'm simply using a brush and I'm not going for the perfect result. I'm just, um, I just want to see if this works at all. Zusa Zenf. Let's try that one. And this one is grainy, so I will try to get out the grains because of course they will burn. They will not help much to improve any sort of result. If this works, I would make more experimenting um, by, for example, um, uh, thin up some mustard with uh, maybe with some more vinegar and then um, spray it on or lay it on with an airbrush to get an even coating. All right, I have my... <laughs> I have my uh, three um, sorts of mustard applied. Now I will go over to the laser. Let's see what's going to happen. I remove the honeycomb and bring the mustard stick to the right height. Then I engrave this QR code using 15 milliamps of output power. That's the highest output power my laser gets before um, the output decreases. And a, a slow feeding speed of 100 millimeters per second in engraving mode. Of course, engraving a highly reflective steel rod with the lid open is very, very dangerous. So I make sure I'm wearing my safety goggles and don't face the machine while engraving. I even left the room. 
now it basically starts smelling like barbecue ribs and hair burnt hair it's weird the laser in general generates very strange uh, smells sometimes it does not smell burnt because it's beyond burning it's like it's just it's just like carbonizing or something I am very curious how about you let's have a look okay so we definitely have engraved something onto the mustard um, but did it mark the steel let's get over to the bench and let's clean this up and let's see I am very curious how about you let me know in the comments do you think this worked out do you think this really marked metal let's see let's start by removing um, each section after another I get grab me a piece of paper here and let's remove this um, oh yeah should I put this like this so we can see it better let's start to scraping this off and you see this is already pretty much stuck on there and that will be so messy that I will grab some a little bit of leftover paint water nice and gray stuff let's try to get this off here um, of course I will wash this down in a minute with some water but um, for now I just want to see if we get any markings on our working piece here let's scrape this off maybe need another piece of paper let me put this down it's quite heavy stuff let's get some more of this nice paint water and let's rub this off this is the Bavarian mustard of course so this is the one where I'm less confident into that it actually did something and marked and uh, I think now we are at a point where we can see and take a close look. Did this mark? No. No, not that I can see anything. It is really... It just came off. It just came off. Now let's go over to the Dijon mustard. By the way, um, this is my second attempt. I made a first attempt with some galvanized steel. And um, yes, I will show you the result in a second. Let's try to get rid of this mustard from the Dijon section. Let's see if we get any result at all. Hmm. I don't know. It does not look too good. Do we see anything? No, there is nothing nothing at all so far a fail um let's go with at least for me the most promising one the yellow mustard and um let me know in the comments if i do something wrong here i am just experimenting around maybe you have uh, maybe you have some more uh, knowledge and uh, maybe um there is something that can be done differently um also it is quite a question um about the intensity of the laser because um, those K40 lasers it really comes down to um, the actual uh, quality of the laser tube so some of them they might run with like 30 watts other they only have like 28 watts it really depends on the quality of the manufacturing quality of the laser and mine is more on the weaker side I would say so I would say it would be about 27 28 watts now what do we have there's nothing at all unfortunately well unfortunately this was a fail for me also as I said I made the same experiment with some galvanized steel as you can see here in the picture and it came out to be a fail as well no big changes whatsoever there is no marking at all unfortunately very sad I will um, give this a wash and then we have a closer look just give me a second feels like doing the dishes I uh, cleaned the steel rod and let's have another closer look but as we saw already before unfortunately this was a fail at least for me maybe you do something different um, if so and this works for you this method let me know in the comments it would be quite interesting maybe I do something wrong maybe I have to put it on thicker or thinner or maybe I need to make multiple passes with the laser to really uh, achieve any marking but um, for now for me this was a fail unfortunately because it would be pretty awesome if this had been working um, 
All right, I hope you enjoyed. Please um, subscribe if you want to. Um, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, don't give it a thumbs down because the experiment failed, <laughs> because that's not the purpose of the thumbs. Uh, however, I hope you enjoyed. I see you on the next one. Until then, see ya.